Hi there, let's talk about resolving the inconsistencies, unexpected or no values and resolving the data quality issues. So what we are going to do here is we are going to go through and do some cleanup of some common values by using the trim functionality and doing some other cleaning on that. We are going to remove duplicates out of one of our tables. We are going to take a look at the split operation that we can do on another query here as well. So let's go to the transform tab and under the format tab and what we can do is we can take a look at few different options we have for our data formatting. So under the format, we have got option of lowercase where we can go and have all our column values converted into a lowercase values. We can have all values converted into an uppercase. We can capitalize each word. So for example, if I pick up this column and if I go to format and I say uppercase, it converts all the values to the uppercase. If I go back and want to, let's say, change all the values to capitalize each word, it is going to capitalize the first letter of each word. So we go here and we can achieve a data consistency right over here. The other thing we can do is these particular role values in this column is we can go ahead and use the trim functionality, which would be removing any kind of leading and trailing white spaces from each cell in the selected column. So if I right click here again under the transform option, you can see we have got these different options. Now trim is where in case there are leading or trailing spaces, let's say if I have this word Asia and if there was a space on the front or at the back, then it would remove those trailing spaces. Apart from it, we have got option of clean. The clean helps you remove the non printable characters in the selected column. So these are some of the stuff that you can do to the column values and you can go ahead and clean things up. Now let's go over to this impacted countries table. So in this impacted countries table, let's go to the view and I'm going to enable the column distribution. So you can see, for example, in the continent one, we have got seven distinct values, zero unique, and there are also some duplicates. So in case you want to go ahead and remove the duplicate values out, you can click here and then you can remove the duplicate values right from here. Next, let us go to this COVID-19 territory table. Now this is where you can see that I have got a column which is having two values together. We have got a continent as well as country available in the same row. So if I have to split this into two different columns, we can right click here. We have got an option of a split column and we can do the split column by delimiter. This option is also available under the transform tab where you can select a column, go to a split column, and then you can split it by different options. So we'll go ahead with by delimiter. And this is where I can select what delimiter to be used. So we have got a comma available over here, like Asia, comma Afghanistan. And then I can split it leftmost delimiter, rightmost delimiter, or each occurrence of the delimiter. So I've got one delimiter. So let us select leftmost delimiter. And based on that, if I click on OK, you can see it has splitted this into a continent and then we have got another column which can be renamed as country. So these are some of the basic things we can do to clean our data up and remove some of the inconsistencies that we have in the data and deal with the data quality issues. And with that, we talked about resolving the inconsistencies, unexpected or null values and the data quality issues in the Power BI.